I sometimes feel that when we translated the work of Pythagoras, we expected something more primitive than the knowledge of our present day, and this affected how his ideas are explained and understood. It seems strange that whenever there is a step forward in our understanding and knowledge is increased, it never totally disagrees with his ideas. Take his idea of the music of the spheres. It can seem very primitive idea, but today we have spherical harmonics at the heart of quantum mechanics, and also at the largest scale of the universe we have spherical harmonics being linked to the cosmic microwave background radiation. Today we can see Pythagoras wasn't totally wrong with the music of the spheres. This theory wants to go further than Pythagoras went and explain the universe as a universal process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking that forms the potential for music. This process is formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light relative to the atoms of the periodic table. Within such a process, the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is forming a blank canvas that we can interact with. We have an emergent future unfolding photon by photon relative to the energy and momentum of our actions. This gives us the potential to form the possible into the actual, and this can be in the form of music and art. This process is represented in physics by Schrodinger's quantum wave particle function or probability function. This wave equation is three dimensional, expanding out as an inverse sphere of spherical harmonics. In mathematics, spherical harmonics are special functions defined by the surface of a sphere. This process of photon energy exchange is forming the movement of positive and negative charge and continuous flow of electromagnetic fields in three dimensional space. In this theory, the two dimensional surface of the sphere forms a dynamic boundary condition, with the concaved inner surface forming negative charge and the convexed outer surface forming positive charge. Such a theory will only need the three dimensions that are formed within the interior of a sphere. In this theory, the extra dimensions of string theory are just future possibilities and opportunities in our one three-dimensional universe of continuous energy exchange, continuous creation. We have an emergent future with the exchange of photon energy and movement of charge, with the build-up and organization of charge across the membrane of each living cell within our body. Whenever we touch something, it is charge that makes contact Therefore, whenever we play the guitar or piano, the future will unfold, with the music being a structure in time that is based on the geometry of space-time. This is where the link between music, geometry and mathematics comes from. The mathematics represents the geometry, and the geometry is formed at the most fundamental level, at the atomic level by electrons and standing waves oscillating at various frequencies. The future is unfolding with each photon-electron coupling or dipole moment, with particular patterns corresponding to certain frequencies and energy levels relative to the atoms of the periodic table and environmental temperatures. In this way, the probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics is forming the entropy and uncertainty of everyday life.
but above all an interactive process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking will give us the potential to form structures of ever greater symmetry and complexity with creation being in the hand and eye of the beholder i will place a link at the end of this video that explains how kepler's laws of planetary motion can be explained relative to this theory thanks for watching please sub and share it will help the promotion of this theory